the town that built it. Dan Roan back at halftime at the Assembly Hall where the Iowa Hawkeyes lead the Fighting Illini 33-29. Our guest at halftime is the president of the university. Thank you. Well, we're going to get started one of these right, days. Right, right. And you wonder when Illinois is going to get the game going. And you look up, we're halfway through. They're trailing 33-29. But that's the way a good defense will make you look. Yeah, you look like that the whole ball game unless something happens. Illinois is going to have to do something. Iowa's switching defenses of course and that's a bit confusing from time to time but eventually you're going to figure that out what they're going to have to do is start getting the ball to eddie johnson and, and getting some points for him he's had a couple of good shots that just rolled around and wouldn't go in keep putting them up there and eventually they're going to fall in hopefully that's going to happen for the illini, illini fans because if it doesn't this could be a long second half you're watching and here in the background the medicare is seven eight or nine a group composed of University of Illinois faculty members and townspeople from Champaign-Urbana and surrounding communities. Points making it 18 to 14 before the Illini tied it up at 18. But Iowa now has carved out a four-point lead at halftime, 33 to 29. And the second half of the game will be getting underway in just a few moments. Well, we won tonight, but it was quite a fight. Now it's... As we start this second half, neither team in any foul trouble. In fact, Illinois has no players with more than one foul. Iowa has Brookings with three, but no, nobody else in foul trouble. In fact, uh, Illinois only had five personal fouls in the first half. That's kind of unusual in itself. Illinois. That should be a good sign. Yeah, it should be, but here we are, four points down, just about ready to get going. I want to apologize for my voice tonight, but <laughs> so far I've made it longer than Lindsey Nelson did in the Cotton Bowl. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job. Let's pause now five seconds for station identification. We'll be starting along with Mark Smith, Rob Jetson, Reno Gray, and we'll have to see who the fifth one is going to be. Is it be Griffin or Holcomb? An idea might be Holcomb. It will be Derek Holcomb getting the start in the second half. So a little different lineup that started the game for the line eyes. Mark Smith took a little vacation through the first 11 minutes for missing <laughs> practice on Tuesday. The line I only had 23 shots in the first half. Yeah, the shooting That's percentage is not bad at all. It's but they, they're not a whole lot of shots. Yeah, almost 47 percent. They just have to get a few more off. Iowa goes with their starting lineup. Wait, Brookins, Gannon. Arnold and Kevin Boyle. And we're set to play basketball. It's Iowa 33, Illinois 29. As we start the second half, Holcomb jumping against Brookins. Easily to Johnson. Nice pass to Smith. He missed it. And that's the bad way to begin the second half for the Illini. Yeah, let's they hope had that's that not an cold. omen. They had it cold. 33 29, it remains. Oh, what a pass. Super pass by Johnson. Arnold almost surprised Vince Brookins with a pass. <laughs> I think everybody's time. beginning to wake up here. We might get some basketball. Well, the Illini might still have a little jet lag. They had a long trip back from Hawaii. Here's Wade all free for the shot. He missed. Boyle's rebound is up and in. And a foul underneath Nick on Judson. Illinois. 3-0. Rob Judson picks up the personal. And the bucket counts. Here's another look. The action inside, Kenny Arnold to wait, who misses the shot, but there's Boyle for the rebound, and Judson pushed him, and the bucket went in. You know, Iowa quickly opens up a six-point lead, and Boyle can make it seven. He's a leading scorer in this game with 10 points. Former star at Chicago St. Lawrence. 36-29. The lead is seven as Boyle. That's actually, that's Burbank St. Lawrence, a suburb of Chicago. St. Lawrence long a power in the Catholic League. Boyle brought him down here to the assembly all twice. Lou Henson wasn't too thrilled about the foul on Judson. Robs out of the game. Range is back in. Eddie Johnson steps on the end line. Another mistake for the Illini. It's Iowa ball. They lead by seven. How's well, the ball out of bounds over there? I don't understand that. I don't know what that call was. This is Arnold with the ball for Iowa. Fitz Brookins at the top of the key to Boyle. Back to Wait. 
Iowa gets a lead. They'll freeze it. Brookings hit it. And Iowa off to a hot start here. 38-29. Boyle knocked it out of bounds off Reno Gray, and the Hawkeyes have the basketball. Iowa's put up five straight points now. And they have the ball into their own basket. 38-29, the biggest lead of the ball game. Arnold. Boyle has opened for the shot, and he rimmed it. Holcomb with a rebound. Finally, something good for the Atlanta. Gray threw it away, and Kenny Arnold comes right across their table. It's Illinois ball. Terry Range to throw in right in front of us. Kevin Bontemps is going to check in, though, to replace Reno Gray. As Lou Hinson didn't like what he saw then. So Range and Bontemps with the Illini guards. 38-29. Illini have yet to score here in the second half. And Range takes care of that. As you were saying it. 38-31. You're certainly right about not falling too far behind an Iowa team because you saw what they did at the end of the first half. They'll do exactly the same thing with a lot of time left. Pass in again and is slapped away by Perry Range. Iowa keeps the ball. Good help by Perry Range that time. He's got Boyle in the man-to-man -man defense, but he came over to knock the ball away from Gannon that time. They're going to zone the inbounds play. Inbound to Boyle in the corner. Not Arnold. They'll take the time. They lead by seven. Long cross-court pass to Brookins, who fires. Hits from the deep corner. Vince Brookins makes it 40 to 31. That was a design play. Don't think it wasn't. They screened off Eddie Johnson, who was Illinois' wing defensive man, and Brookins was wide open out there in the corner. Ten points for Brookins. I was sagged back into that zone again. Got to move it quicker than that to get a good shot. There's Smith with the ball. The bond temps. Back to Smith, takes it to the basket, and misses the shot. Vince Brookins comes down with a rebound, and Holcomb gets it away from him, loses it though, and Gannon finally picks it up for Iowa. Good effort by Holcomb that nice time. Try. He was scrapping for the basketball. Arnold sails one up. No good. Johnson, long pass to Smith, and Smith holds up. And no, gives to Holcomb. Back to Smith. Ball tapped away. Foul on Kenny Arnold. Oh, my. <laughs> Wild action that time. I don't know if Derek Holcomb didn't travel underneath the basket or not. It looked like he skidded about four steps. I tell you, Holcomb has been in some real action the last few seconds. <laughs> First on defense, then on offense. Illinois gets the ball out of bounds. Perry Range will toss in. Illini trailing by nine. Hanson going to come back in for Iowa. Passing the ball around, the rain shoots, no good. And Waite picks up the loose ball in the corner. Ball sailed right by Derek Holcomb. Kevin Boyle brings the ball down against Perry Range. Boyle 6-6. Six, six. And we have a foul called underneath on Steve Waite. Well, he knew it too, put the hand right up. Offensive foul pushing off on Holcomb inside. Second team foul in Iowa. Hanson in, and Kenny Arnold sits down. Hanson, 6'5", freshman. From Des Moines, Iowa. The crowd trying to get the Illini stirred up. A trail by nine. Eddie puts it up. Off the board and in, and finally... And he breaks a long scoring drought. He has four points now. If you can get away with it, that's a way to solve his own. Take it right down the gut and put it in. 40-33. And a foul against Perry Range. Iowa will take the ball out of bounds. That's the second team foul on Illinois. There's another look. Pressure by Bond Temps, and Range is going to pick up the foul as he's pushing Kevin Boyle right there. Hanson inbounds on the near side. Brookins 
And looked like he carried the ball. Nothing called. Back to Hanson. He puts up the short cover and hits it. Boy, that's an important well, didn't like that Brooks traveled right in front of right in front of us. No question. He had both feet off the ground and had the basketball in his hand. Nine point lead again for Iowa. Brookins with 10 points. Or, that was Hanson with the ball, rather. Oh, no, he comes right back and takes it down deep to Holcomb. Good move. 42-35. Starting to heat up a little bit, Dave. This is Hanson with a loose ball. Puts up the jump shot. And he hit it. 44-35. The lead is nine. Johnson shot from the corner, good. 44-37, Eddie Johnson taking the baseline. 15 minutes to go in this game. Yolanda I trail by seven. Here's Bob Hanson, the ball drives again. Back to Boyle. Foul called away from play on Mark Smith. Cut Mark holding down inside. I think he had hold of Vince Brookins, so Illinois picks up another personal foul. Foul number three against Illinois and a timeout of the floor with 14.49 to go. It's Iowa 44, Illinois 37. Yeah. Iowa 44, Illinois 37. 14.49. Going again. Halftime score, Indiana was leading Ohio State 32 to 27. And Michigan leading Minnesota at halftime, 39-34. Indiana playing at Ohio State. Right. <laughs> Without Mike Woods. But as Lou Henson says, <laughs> losing <laughs> a key can player can pump the rest of the team up higher. And Iowa's doing okay right now without Ronnie Lester. They sure are. Kevin Boyle. Missed that one. Holcomb is fouled by Vince Brookins. That's four on Brookins. That's the first semblance of foul trouble anybody's had. Nobody else has more than a couple. And Brookins was caught pushing off. The shot goes up by Boyle from the wing. Holcomb is there, and Boyle, or, uh, Brookins rather, pushes him over the top. So I'm going to put the Twin Towers in there, bring in Steve Krapsis in at 6'10". They have Steve Wade in there at 6'10". Wade moves pretty well, Dave. He's not that slow, but Krafts isn't no speed merchant in there. Maybe Illinois can take advantage of the quickness. Here's Holcomb, hooks it, hit it. Well, we haven't seen that in a while. Gary Holcomb brings the line eye back to within five with 14, 14 to go in the game. 44, 39, Iowa. Boyle brings it down against Perry Range. Mark Gannon now for Iowa. For Boyle. Hanson to Gannon. Nice pass to Krasis who stuffed it. Well, that's a heads up play by a freshman right there. And saw the man come over and slip over and pick him up, and he bounced past it right to the big fellow who knocked it in. Boy, that was a nice play. 46 39, Iowa. There's Rob Jetson firing long, and he hit it. Lana warm it up now. 46 41, the lead five again. And for Jetson, that's his first points of the evening. Boyle has an open shot, and he hit it. Well, zone or no zone, I don't know how he can get open for those shots. You might as well just give him two points and take the basketball. Kevin He's Boyle everything. wide open in the baseline that time. Here's Eddie Johnson. Works against Gannon. Puts it up. No good. Tip up is good by Johnson. Got his own tip. What a play inside. 48-43. 15 oh, minutes to go. Eddie's coming alive, Dave. That's eight points for Johnson. Gannon fires long, and he hit it. <laughs> Mark Gannon. Two All freshmen out there, really cool. Gannon and Hanson. Eight points now for Mark. 50-43 again. Another seven-point lead as Range puts it up. And off the back ring, no good. Johnson has the rebound, though, back to Range. Tries it again, and he hit it. Got away with the travel that time. Kind of scooted the feet, but got the ball to go down. Good play by Johnson in there that time to knock the ball back out to him. 
Hits and drives, shoots, no good. And Hanson has the rebound. But taken away by Bresnan to go to the floor via jump ball. All right. Good play by Bresnan there. I don't know that a foul should have been called a little bit earlier, Dave, when the weight came over somebody's back. Oh, let's check. Hanson okay? Yeah, he's up. Levi Cobb now coming in for the Illini to replace Eddie Johnson. Levi has not played much this season, but got a lot of action on the Rainbow Classic and did well. Levi is feeling the momentum starting to swing a little bit now, Dave. If, if Iowa controls the tip, look for them to slow down and, and try to get a real good shot. They want to kind of cool things off here in the assembly hall. Bresnahan jumping against Hanson. And Range picks up the ball as Bresnahan gets the tip. Big trip down this time. Illinois needs a bucket. This is Levi Cobb, Derek Colcom. Colcom looks back to Johnson in the corner. Or Judson. He pops. Good. 50 to 47. The lead is three with 11.42 to go. Iowa down quick. Trapsison. Now back to Hanson. He'll set it up. Judson with four points now. Wait deep to Crafts and turn around blocked by Holcomb and he gets a foul. Derek hanging in there against Crafts Derek's doing a good job down there, Dave. Unfortunately, he had bad position this time, right behind Kraft. Got a lot of the basketball, but got the arm as well. So he picks up his only first of the night, so he's in no trouble. Timeout on the floor with 11.29 to go. The score, Iowa 50, Illinois 47. Well, the Illini are as close as they've been since late in the first half. There's 33-29 at halftime. Iowa immediately scored the first oh, five points in the second half. Let's see. Yeah, five straight points. Why not now cut it to three, 50 to 47, but Kraft is in at the free throw line with two shots coming up. Kenny Arnold came back in the lineup during that timeout for Iowa. Wait sat down and passes and misses the first free throw that's good news for Atlanta at this point the second good 51 47 Iowa pressing Perry range step on the out-of-bounds line to give credit that time to the freshman Bob Hanson or forced him out. Trying to go around Hanson. Couldn't do it. And the turnover gives the ball back to Iowa. And Judson sits down. And he Johnson back in. Uh, make it Reno, Reno Gray. It's Gray, Bresnahan, Holcomb, Johnson, and Range for the Illini right now. It's Boyle. They've done some switching. They have Brez on Boyle now. Great block by Holcomb, but Gannon comes up with a loose ball. Oh, Holcomb put it right back in Crafts' space that time. Bresnahan on Boyle, Perry Range has uh, Gannon, and Arnold belongs to uh, Reno Gray right now, or did. Arnold, a foul called on Holcomb. And that play had already passed him by as Derek turned and Arnold went into it. You know, Bresnahan trying to coach the referee a little bit and see what's going on down there. Two shots coming up for Kenny Arnold. Boy, Arnold showed the speed that time. He went right by Reno Gray, just took that baseline like he owned it. Kenny Arnold, sophomore from Calumet High School in Chicago. Been averaging 13 points a game. Gets the first free throw to make it 52 to 47. Now it's just three points in this game. Make it four. 53 47 and just like that Iowa back to six and again Iowa's back in the zone range Reno Gray to Bresnan fires from the corner off the rim no good Johnson rebounds no good off the glass Holcomb tips it to range Illinois still has the ball. Here's Eddie trying again. He hit it. Eddie's better that way, not using the glass. 
53-49. Johnson with 10 points. Just under the 10-minute mark now as Arnold puts it up and in. He scooted right in there. Lou Henson wants a travel call, but I didn't see any travel that time. Kenny Arnold just taking Reno Gray right to the bucket. 55-49 Iowa. Glenn, I just cannot break through that lead. Oh, Holcomb didn't see it coming, but recovers in time in the tip of the Johnson. Gray puts it up. No good. Gannon hauls down the rebound for Iowa. So the line I come up empty on that time down the court. There's Krasison. Dumps it off the ball, hooks it up there real good, but draws the foul. Once again, Boyle's in the right place. A good pass by Kraft says, and Boyle breaking right down the lane, and he had a wide open path and got fouled by Bresnahan. Bresnahan, that's his second foul. Kevin Boyle at the line, he already has 13 points tonight. The leading scorer in the game. He's got two shots coming up. Makes the first one, 56-49. Bob Judson back in. With Perry Range as Blue Hinson juggles those guards around. Check Boyle's free throw shooting line. 